I'm Terry Kolath, and I'm here today with Jay Kelly Wright of The Estuary. He's giving us another presentation that will help us look at politics today. This one is titled, The U.S. Supreme Court is What You See, What You Get. Thank you for joining me, Jay. You're welcome, Terry. I remember when we were talking about this, as I recall, I asked you if you would consider talking about the Supreme Court, and we weren't really sure of how exciting it was going to get at the time. No, this one was uh, unusual, wasn't it? I think at the time we talked, Judge Kavanaugh had been nominated, mm -hmm. but nothing had gone very far. Right. This one was uh, particularly brutal, almost, uh, almost like uh, the election we've just had. And we'll talk about that a little bit and why mm -hmm. I think that was. So we'll, put, we'll also put it in some historical context. I'd like to go back a little bit to the U.S. Constitution. And tell me if I'm wrong, but I've always assumed that when issues come up, we look to our Supreme Court to resolve them. We do. That's in our tradition. Um, and to a certain extent, we've come to look to our Supreme Court to decide issues that the other branches don't seem to be able to decide or in some cases haven't decided to the satisfaction of some people. That actually, that captures what's in the philosophy of the living Constitution, that uh, our Constitution needs to be interpreted so that we become a more fair, more tolerant, the society. That, that view kind of looks at the Supreme Court as the better angels of our nature, making America better. Mm -hmm. And uh, that has produced some decisions that I think most people today would say, well, it's made us a better place. I mean, it's, it's, it's vital. It's right now. It's, um, we're all learning. Well, I hope... Um, I hope we'll have some engagement and lively discussion. I'm going to ask how many people followed the hearings, um, especially before the assault allegations came up, how many people might have watched and had opinions. Sure. Um, uh, Forty years ago, I don't think too many people really followed this and had opinions. I think that's one reason why things maybe appear more divisive today. In, in general, we just have a more engaged um, population now. And we're getting our information in many cases from places that we think already agree with us. Um, that's another, uh, th that's another condition we live with. Sure. Certainly we're bombarded with right. ideas and opinions and so forth. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. Well, I thank you for even you, taking this on for all welcome. of us. <laughs> I hope you'll come. I'll hope, I hope that you will find this as fascinating as Jay and I do when we're looking to what are the, the current issues that someone with Jay's background could help us focus on today. Please join us.